with at least one sentence. London dispersion forces between two. Well, uh, one of the questions in your homework says xenon atoms, but I've changed it to carbon. Please submit your work as a PDF. Now, uh, this process I'm about to draw for you and write a sentence about is almost exactly like it is in the lecture outline. Uh, but it's useful for me to have you actually write it down, at least for, I think we do helium or neon in the lecture outline. So we'll do carbon here. We'll draw a carbon atom. And there's lots of ways to do it but I'm gonna draw it with n equals one and n equals two. And uh, for a carbon atom, we know its electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. And so I'm gonna draw uh, two electrons in the n equals one. And again, just keep in mind, this is a very schematic picture, but I am hopeful that it will give you an idea about how intermolecular forces work. And then there are four electrons in the N equals two. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw three of them on one side. I'm not even drawing the S's and the P's. You can and still do this, but uh, I think it's simpler if you just uh, draw them as n equals one and n equals two. And the idea here is that for an instant or for one over 10 to the 15th seconds, there is an imbalance in the distribution of electrons. And that imbalance is represented by the fact that there are four electrons on the left-hand side and two electrons on the right-hand side of the atom. And it just so happens that this, you know, is again, I know we think of electrons as probabilities, but even those probabilities can have a slight imbalance. And now I'm going to uh, change colors and say, creating an instantaneous dipole dot, 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 because I'm gonna draw another carbon atom here in a minute. And my instantaneous dipole is going to, because there are more electrons on the left, is going to have a partial negative charge on the left and a partial positive charge on the right. And you could also draw it with a plus arrow if you wanted to. And then over here, we have another carbon atom. As much as possible, exactly the same as far as its shape. And let's say we have an even distribution of electrons but creating an instantaneous dipole uh, and let's move one of those over here that dot 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 induces a dipole and that's what it's doing it's so these electrons are attracted to the partial plus inducing a dipole in a neighboring atom. And so this induced dipole 
will have a partial negative because the electrons are moving over here and a partial positive on the other side. And then the attraction between the instantaneous and induced dipoles is the LDF. The attraction between the instantaneous and the induced dipoles is the LDF. Any questions about that?